Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. All right, scientists. Today, hey, we're going to continue working on magnetism. So this is station two for the magnetism um, series here. And I'm going to go over a few things. We have some props or materials here. So I have a bar magnet, and it shows north and south. Actually, I put it this way, north and south. I have some iron filings, but it's just it's in this container and I can't get it open and I don't want to break it open. So what I did is I created my own. I went out to the yard. I have another video for that, but you can see how I'm running this magnet over it and see how when it's drying out, I'm just getting more and more. So we're going to be using those metal filings for this station. I also have a compass. Whoa, you see how it gets affected by the magnet and such, but I have a compass and uh, a clear sheet of plastic because this is what we're going to use to put over it for the experiment. So the experiment today is that we're going to go and I want you to take a bar magnet and set it down and we're going to and draw around it, around that shape. Make it so that it's there and then we're going to check out and see what a magnetic field looks like. Okay, so let's get started. So I have this bar magnet and I'm going to you know, I'm going to go ahead and kind of orient it towards north. And notice how I have a piece of just clear paper, or just white paper here. And I'm going to draw around it. And so I have it all around. And I want to mark where north is. So I have, you know, north is here. Let's get a little bit better there. So I know this is north. What I want to do is, I let's take a look at this, whoops, with the magnet, or with the, uh, compass. Come on, calm down. And I'm going to orient this compass so that it shows north. And, you know, I got it pretty, I got it kind of close there. I, I know the, the room that I'm in, so I know where I'm at. Okay, so now I know where it's at. And what I want to do is I'm going to put the magnet back. And I'm going to use the compass to show me the magnetic field. Whoa, what do you mean by that, Mr. Woods? Well, Notice how the south end is attracted to the north end. And see how I have it here and it's going straight out like that? So I can have a little arrow like that. As I move it around, I have this here. And then like this. Oh boy, see how that gets affected there? And then out here, it goes a little bit different. Let's get it here. So, oh, and I have it like this like this. See I keep moving around and that compass is moving and I'm making these little marks here to show me how that magnetic field is is reacting. So I'm going to do that. Look at that. Let me get it back over here. Oh, there we go. And here. So you see how I can, oh wow, how it's affecting it way out here too. So what I can do is I can continue out here. Let me do this here. I want to get it a little bit closer right there. So there we go. And let's keep on working on this one over here. Oh, it's kind of catching something there. So what it's looking like is something like this and this. So that's our anticipated magnetic field. What do you think? How do you think it's going to work out? What I want you to do is pay close attention to this. I'm going to come back here in a moment after my iron filings dry out and we're going to complete this experiment. Okay, I'm back. My metal filings, our iron filings are here. And let's take a look. You, know, you can see how the magnet, or they're attracted to the magnet through this plastic. And we're going to take this magnet, I'm going to put, I'm just putting like a little structure around it uh, so that I can have that magnet still down. And I just want to see what we're looking for is will that magnetic field be present over this magnet, similar to what I, what I wrote. Oh boy, I'm not sure. I think that might be a little, 
not tall, or too tall. But let's take a look. I'm just going to gently sprinkle it around here. Oh, come on. See if it'll align to. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. You see how the lines are going out and around? See how it's coming back around? I may need a little bit more, but you get the idea. So I want you to go through and find a barb magnet and try to do something similar. Go out in the yard and get your own uh, iron filings. Have fun with this experiment. Okay. So Once you've finished doing that with one barb magnet, let's introduce another one. So remember, I want to go from north to south. So I have the south side here. Oops, I don't want it totally touching. I want it just, just far enough away because we want to see what that magnetic field is going to look like. I'm going to sprinkle my iron filings around here. Let's take a look. Just gently sprinkle it and see what kind of... Oh, look at that. It kind of looks like an onion. See how the shape is? It goes around like that. You can see how the magnetic fields are, are being attractive and it's forming there. So that's a natural occurrence. Isn't that great? Alright, so once you've done it for there, I want you to uh, go back and try to sketch that pattern as well around again so that we have two magnets together showing attraction. And then we can go and see what we can do about repulsion. Let's try that one. Okay, we're back. Alright, so if you notice, I have my bar magnets here. I have north to north. Let's see what happens when I sprinkle those iron filings here. Come on. Wow, that's a that's a bit different pattern. Hmm. Why do you think that has that different pattern? It's a little bit different. There's there, that onion isn't in the center. It's actually there's a hole there. Why do you think that occurs? Hi friends, that's it for Magnetism Station 2. Next up will be Station 3. Until next time, remember, to be a scientist, all you have to be is a person that does science. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches.